Which is the best engine layout? Front engine, mid engine, or rear engine? Well, it really depends. First is the front engine layout. This layout places the engine over the front axle, and it has some disadvantages and some advantages. First, the advantages. Having the engine in front allows for more interior space, and it's also easier to access for maintenance. It also maximizes cooling because it can receive more air at the front. Unfortunately, this layout also has a lot of performance disadvantages. Weight shifts to the front during braking, leaving little weight over the rear wheels, so they can't help brake as much. It also has a front biased weight distribution, which can cause understeer. One interesting thing to note about this layout is that it's used in a lot of Ferraris, because Enzo Ferrari once said, the horse does not push the cart, it pulls. Next is the mid-engine layout. This is really popular in sports cars and supercars because it's almost perfectly balanced. It's got a near-perfect weight distribution because the heavy engine is closer to the center of the car, so this leads to less under and oversteer. It's also got a lower center of gravity, which can lead to less body roll, and an overall more balanced car. Unfortunately, there is one huge disadvantage, and this is that there's not much space for the passengers and cargo since the engine is essentially located where the back seat would be. Notable mid-engine cars would be the De Tomaso Pantera, the Porsche Cayman, Lamborghini Aventador, Ferrari 458, Audi R8, and the Bugatti Veyron. Now you may think the Mercedes AMG GT supercar is front-engined because it's got that really long hood, but it's actually mid-engined because the engine is located just behind the front axle. Finally, there's the rear engine layout, which places the engine over the rear axle. This adds more weight to the rear wheels, which can add traction. Unfortunately, it does have rear biased weight distribution, which can cause oversteer. On the plus side, there is better braking ability because there's not as much weight in the front, so when the car shifts forward during deceleration, it will sort of even the car out. Now, this is not a very common layout anymore, but it is featured in cars like the Porsche 911, the DeLorean, and the Smart Car. So, which is the best layout? Well, it really depends on what you're looking for in a car. A front engine layout is probably the best if you're looking for something average and affordable and easy to use in maintenance. But if you're looking for a better performance car, you probably want the mid-engine design with the almost perfectly balanced weight and the improved handling. And as always, thank you for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up for me and comment below if you have any questions or comments. I will try my best to answer them. Please check out my channel. I do all sorts of videos on supercars. I got a lot of reviews up there as well. And remember to subscribe.